trademark classes for your clothing brand. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, my name is Marcella Dominguez and in today's video we are going to be covering in what class do you need to register if you are planning on starting a clothing brand or if you already have a clothing brand. Should you be considering lots of different classes or is there one single class, maybe two classes that you need to focus on in your application? And if you are new here, I invite you to hit subscribe because you are going to learn more than you knew before you started watching. So first things first, do you need a registered trademark for your clothing brand? You can also scroll down into the description below where you can claim your free trademark cheat sheet so you can learn more about this process. Number one, do you plan on having this brand for a very long time and do you plan on making sure that it succeeds? In other words, there is nothing that is going to stand in your way and you will not let this brand fail. So if you answered affirmatively and there's just no way that you're going to accept no as an answer and you're going to make sure that everybody is wearing your clothing, maybe you aspire to be the next Louis Vuitton, the next FUBU, the next Gucci, perhaps the next North Face, whatever your niche is in the clothing brand business, you want to make sure that if you are planning on it succeeding, that you do have a registered trademark. There are lots of different clothing brands ranging from mountain gear to luxury to casual and everything in between that you can probably think of that you've seen at the mall, that you've seen at Walmart, that you've seen at, you know, Express, Karen Millen. And I share these examples with you and I want to ask you, what do all of these brands have in common? Common. Well, I'm sure that when they all started, they all wanted to succeed, right? Every business has that goal in mind. And so if you know that you're not going to let it fail and you want to make sure that you succeed and you cross that finish line, whatever that finish line actually means to you, then you want to make sure that you have a trademark. Now, the second reason you may want a trademark for your clothing brand is because you want to safeguard against infringement. In the same way that you would purchase insurance for your home or for your car, then you want to make sure that you have insurance for your brand. And a trademark is the way to do that. Now, if you're curious about how infringement could affect you or whether it would even affect you, make sure to catch this video right here, which goes into more detail about trademark infringement and also copyright infringement, which may be relevant to you if you are also planning on copywriting your logo. But for purposes of tip number two, safeguarding against infringement, I want to let you know that whenever somebody tries to use a name that is similar to yours or exactly like yours, having a registered trademark is going to give you a lot more leverage than not having a registered trademark at all. And oftentimes entrepreneurs think I'm going to forego a trademark because it's just not at the top of my priority list right now. And I don't really think anybody's going to rip me off. Now that's just one type of entrepreneur. And then they come and see me when it's already too late. Somebody has already started copying their brand, whether that be tweaking the name and using that on clothing or using the exact same name on say hats. And then they get really upset. And so you want to avoid that situation and you want to make sure that you're arming yourself with some kind of leverage and a registered trademark is the way to go about it. Now there are other entrepreneurs that already know that somebody might be writing on their coattails, you know, in the same way that I know lawyers are writing on my coattails, watching my videos and regurgitating the information I'm providing here. But lots of times entrepreneurs are already aware of copycats that are lurking in the bushes, just waiting for when the time is right to copy whatever it is that you have put out, either because they like the idea themselves or because they see that you have already acquired massive success doing what you do. So in that situation, you still want to arm yourself with the leverage that I've been talking about, which is in the form of a registered trademark. Imagine receiving a cease and desist letter from somebody who doesn't have a registered trademark. Are you going to be that afraid? Or are you going to be more afraid of someone who actually has a registered trademark and sends you a cease and desist letter? So you have to put yourself in that position. Think about it. If you had to, would you rather be sending a cease and desist letter knowing that you have a registered trademark? Would you second guess sending a cease and desist letter if you didn't have a registered trademark? So just in case you need to see some examples of clothing brands that have sent cease and desist letters, I'm going to include some right here so that you can take a look at what I mean. If you want to read up on these cases, I know it might not sound very interesting, but trust me, it might be worth your time if you are planning on growing your brand and staying in this game for the long haul. Now, the third reason you may want to obtain a registered trademark for your clothing brand is if drumroll please. Number three, 
you are seeking notoriety for your clothing brand. So that kind of goes in hand with number one, you're in this game for the long haul. If you want your brand to go worldwide, then you want a lot of people to recognize it, you want people to wear it, then you definitely want to have a registered trademark. Just think about all the most recognizable clothing brands, some of which we have already talked about. So I would say that Louis Vuitton is probably recognized globally at this point. So are brands like Gucci or Nike, Puma, Adidas. So if you want to gain some kind of notoriety, just like those brands have done, you can look them up in the trademark electronic search system and you will see that they probably have a variety of trademarks. You see, I've already mentioned in a couple of my other videos that once you have a brand, you don't have to just stick to one trademark. As your brand grows, you can continue to grow your trademark portfolio. So don't feel like, okay, I've already registered one, I'm good to go. As you continue to expand, you'll have to file a new registration that may include different classes. I just want you to be aware that as your notoriety increases, so might the size of your IP portfolio, intellectual property. So if you're still a little bit confused on what IP, intellectual property, really means, make sure you catch this video right here where I break down the differences between copyrights, patents, and trademarks. So my point, my take home point with tip number three is that you will not see some of the world's largest brands running around without trademark protection. So registering a trademark means that you take this process very seriously. And if you are like them and you want to be recognized, then make sure you secure your brand with a trademark. So if you're still a little bit confused or you want to continue to learn more from yours truly, then make sure you scroll down for your free masterclass where I'm going to teach you more about this trademark process and how it applies applies to your clothing brand. It's free, free masterclass. So here we are, in which class should you register your clothing brand if you're going to file the application by yourself on your own. So if you want to register a clothing brand, I am letting you know that lots of different brands register in almost one particular class. Like all of the clothing brands that I have registered and all of the other applications that I have experience looking at, I will tell you that they all choose this one class, but it doesn't mean that is the only class that they choose. Why? Because like I said, as your brand continues to grow, then you can start adding other classes. And so some people don't start the trademark process right away. Some might wait to see if their clothing brand actually takes off and then file a trademark, not in just one class, but they might fall in two or even three classes. But the common thread or the common identification of goods for this type of application would be class 25. Now, I cannot tell you what to put in the text box for you know what exactly it is that you're selling because some of you might only be selling clothing some of you might be selling hats some of you might just be selling sweatshirts and this is where the expertise of a lawyer is going to come in because you don't want to start adding a bunch of stuff that you aren't actually selling yet because you could encounter issues with the trademark examiner asking you for proof of that other stuff that you've included that you actually don't have proof of because you're not selling it yet you catch my drift that's why this can be a little bit complicated and that's why i offer the free masterclass down below or you can schedule a consultation with me but suffice it to say that class 25 has been the common thread between lots of these different clothing brands whether it be luxury casual clothing pajamas but each of these brands words their identification of goods differently so Sonoma for example sells lots of pajamas and they also sell you know undergarments Gap for example Gap and Old Navy Banana Republic you know they sell a little bit more casual clothing and and then, you know, brands like Gucci might sell, you know, obviously like luxury clothing. And so how you word it in the goods and services description with the USPTO is going to matter. And that might matter to you as the owner. Like it's not going to be good enough for you to say, oh yeah, I sell shirts and sweatshirts, you know, but for some of you, it may. So this is where it really matters that you understand what you're putting into your application. Because if you screw up the identification of goods and services, there is no going back. In other words, you're not really able Able to expand on this class if you make a mistake. So it is possible that you might be able to fix it, but you're only able to fix it within certain limitations. And if what you want to change is outside of those limitations, then you're screwed because you can't. The USPTO won't let you. So if there's any confusion about what you want to register, how you want to register, make sure you scroll down into the description because I've been talking to so many of you and I love learning about your business journey. So make sure that you let me know what's going on and tell me down below what class class did I say is the common thread or the common theme for a lot of different clothing brands because I want to make sure that you were paying attention. Tell me below it's class what? What is it? What's that number? Tell me in the comments below.
Now, because I love offering free information on this YouTube channel and I offer the free masterclass and the free cheat sheet and all these free things that you can find in the description below, I also wanna let you know that it's going to be super important to watch this video right here, the biggest mistakes clothing brand owners make with regard to their trademark application. Please don't forget to check that out because your journey is not done just because you watched this one video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, but don't forget to head straight to that video because I'm telling you this, I know for a fact this is one of the biggest mistakes that clothing brand owners make because I see it done all the time. And you don't want to wait until you've made that mistake to figure out that you shouldn't have made that mistake yourself. Oh, and by the way, I am actually launching something really exciting in the next two weeks or so. I want to make sure that you get the first look at what it is that I'm launching because you're a loyal subscriber to this channel. So make sure you stay tuned because I know it's going to be something that you're going to appreciate and you might want to wear yourself. Can any guesses as to what it is that I'm launching? Tell me in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video.